What's up, vloggy? It is 5 p.m. We're going to take photos and then we're getting dessert before Din Din, hopefully, if it's not closed. And then going to dinner. Honestly, my hair is kind of scaring me right now. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like glued to my head looking and I look really, really weird and like emo. <laughs> and the color is still like, like here and it like looks like weird patches of like black hair on my face and I'm just not really Looks rocking fine. with it. A white chocolate raspberry oh, yeah. and then red velvet and lemon. Yes. Chocolate chip chocolate, something like that. We got nothing but cakes. Which one are you gonna try first? This one. This one. These are so good. If you haven't had them before, you're seriously missing out. They're so moist and scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> bite it, bite it. She said to keep them in the fridge, but we're gonna leave them in the car. Same thing. Mmm. Mmm. Scripture. Hey guys, it's currently Thursday before I leave tomorrow, and I have not started packing. Who is surprised? So I'm about to start doing that. Denny and I are gonna go downstairs and so, look for, oh, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> He's on the phone. I thought he was saying that to me. <coughs> We're gonna go look for suitcases and then I have so many clothes in my car that I need to bring out to see if I need to bring it with me. Denny's on the phone with his brother. I also have pimple patches on my face, so ignore that. I gotta look cute for the team. Hopefully they think I'm cool. Mm. Mm. Or they're gonna think I'm really weird, but. I'm now well, I just we're walking in the basement. Messi is following me, and I'm gonna look for some suitcases. Look, okay, so our gym used to be in the front of our house, and then this room was just like a couch and TV area. But my dad and then. Lauren ripped up the carpet and are putting down like gym tiling and they're moving the gym to this area which will be sick because now the gym's gonna be like twice the size which will be really nice when we come home for breaks to work out so that's gonna be exciting and there's windows so the other room doesn't get natural light and they're like it's gonna hire people to like repaint it and then install mirrors all across it Whew. You know, honestly, I should go to like Target today and get a really nice big suitcase. I feel like that's a really good investment. Oh, we're in the storage closet of mine. It's huge. Well, it's not mine personally. It's my family's, obviously. It's literally massive and it's just a disaster. Does everyone else have, does anyone else have like this type of room in their house? Like... Who even knows what's in these boxes? Cobwebs everywhere. Like, literally, the aesthetic the cobwebs and just a ton of balls hanging. That sounds super weird. And then suitcases. But none of them are that big or nice. And your girl got a lot of clothes, so. I also know I'm gonna have to go on a huge shopping spree when I'm there of like things I need for my apartment bedding, comforter. Oh so much to do so little time so little time well it's actually my choice that i did this so unbelievably last minute but that's just that's just me i think i'm gonna use this red one right here not these really ugly ones addy and i used to like use those all the time when we were younger we went to a trip with our family to london and we used those and we thought we were it we were like we are the main character this is everything we ever hoped for we are so cool and they're so ugly. Um, I'm gonna use this big red one. I honestly really should go to Target and get a really nice one. That's a really good idea. And I have to get my nails done today. Messy, messy, stay out of the closet, okay? You're gonna get stuck in here. Come on. It's so cute, she just follows you around everywhere. Mm, poor little Messy, so cute, she's gonna miss me. She's gonna miss me. Thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail. 
So I only have this big red one. But see, stop being weird. I'm getting so itchy from the cobwebs. I only have this big one, and I don't think that's enough. I'm about to get good suitcases that aren't expensive. That's honestly a really good gift. Maybe I'll ask for that for next year because a really nice like big suitcase and then a matching carry-on would be really really good and probably last a lifetime. Over here getting old and thinking that presents like that are good. I'm currently about to start packing. I'm in Addie's room right now packing all my stuff just because one she's not here two she has like no furniture in her room basically so it's just like a blank room and her bed's on the floor really weird i hate it anyways bought two new suitcases so i'm bringing three suitcases two massive ones and then like a little bit bigger than a carry-on and now i have to sort through all of my clothes from college that i barely worn and <sighs> I just don't even want to start because it's going to be so overwhelming and there's going to be so many clothes that I just have to sort through and decide to like throw out, keep, the whole shebang and I feel like I already just did this when I moved out of school because I donated like eight trash bags full of clothes to Goodwill so it feels like I already had sorted through things but now I feel like I have to do it all again which I guess is good because I don't need as many clothes that I have like I simply just wear like the same things just over and over again so it's pointless having this when I'm like transitioning more to a capsule wardrobe ignore my appearance right now in my packing i'm sorting through of all the clothes and deciding what i am bringing and then what i'm not and i'm just hanging up the rest of like the hanging clothes that i'm not going to bring and i'm discovering that i have so many ugly clothes that i haven't worn in years and i don't even know why i still have them let's go over a few disgusting Disgusting. This is Addie's, but like disgusting. When would you ever wear this? And it's IMG, so that's kind of upsetting. I mean, only would you wear that if it was like in a euphoria party. Disgusting, stained, not gonna wear, not gonna wear. I'll show you guys some of the other ugly clothes that I'm stumbling upon, but like. These like button ups I'm keeping like I'm gonna wear that when I'm there, especially if we're going to the beach. Like, cute little cover ups. Also, I like don't need a lot of winter jackets or like hoodies or things like that just because it's gonna be so much warmer. So I'm just sorting through what I'll actually wear. Cause they always overpack and then I end up wearing like one of the things. So I'm trying not to do that. This pimple on my forehead it's so bad and it needs to be popped but i'm not popping it because i don't want to scar and usually if i pop it it makes it worse dennis is trying to come over i was gonna tell him that pimple was really gross you're gonna tell him the pimple on my forehead was really gross no, was really cute. dennis keeps saying it's staring at him <laughs> yeah but i'm letting the white head rock on it we're on our way to get me news done. And I'm eating a bag of hers potato chips. Uh, nothing like it. I'll show you my nails. Here are my nails. They're just really grown out. And I want the shape a little bit more rounded than this like pointiness. And I think I'm gonna get hearts for V-Day, baby. But I don't know exactly what kind of heart so we'll see my hands look like grandma hands right now disgusting nail reveal good boyfriend good boyfriend they are so cute i'm obsessed do you really like them daddy yeah they're really cute i told her she could do different sizes in whatever placement she wanted and i think they turned out so good i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i'm so happy and I got them really long. I didn't get them trimmed and I'm loving it. And I got it more rounded than like pointed and I'm really, really liking it. I'm digging the, I'm digging the nails. Wow, really cool to see us. <laughs> <laughs> this pimple's unreal. Oh yeah, my new nails, so cute. Um, I'm looking for facial bleach because this is like not coming off and like my hairline simply doesn't go to here. So I think it dyed my peach votes. So I'm going to bleach it. Dennis is getting spammed. 
Wham bam, thank you, spam. These are my two pickups today. Oh, Denny has eczema cream. He got eczema. He no, got eczema. No, yes, it's he for, does. It's for my friend. Premium he, ham. I've always wanted to eat that. He has mild eczema. Nothing to be concerned about. Okay, I got the facial. What is it called? Bleach. Um. Man, your, your barber did you right? It's like a straight line. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to use it, honestly. Like, what if I, it makes me break out really bad? Or, I don't know, you know? I feel like really bad things could happen with this in my hand, so I'm kind of nervy. Nerve McGurf. Haul from CVS, Dennis, you go first. Sippy, sippy. Are you alternating? Yeah. All right. Uh, Dennis's first item. Five or one brownies. It's my breakfast tomorrow after I drop her off to the airport. So I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tuck and roll. Okay. Oh, I got, I already showed this. Um, my facial bleach for my stash as well. She needs it. Hey. Double shot espresso also for tomorrow. Oh, smart. And that's it. No when you're eczema cream. <laughs> you're embarrassed. Then he has eczema, he's a survivor. He's trying a different brand. You surrender. I, I have mild eczema. Nothing crazy. You got. I can't add that. And no, I don't. I'm just not saying that. Um, I got beef jerky for my flight tomorrow. Oh, you didn't get that for us tonight? No, I got it for my flight tomorrow. Oh. Do you think that's like rude if I open it on the flight? Your sister bought a hard boiled egg one time. <laughs> eating this on the plate. I'm eating this right now. Yum, I love beef, beef jerky. <laughs> beef jer jerky. <laughs> I'm bleaching. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I'm bleaching this much of my head to like match my hairline on this side. So hopefully it turns out good. I'm leaving it on for eight minutes. I popped this pimple. This is the worst pimple I've had in kind of a while. I popped it and made it worse. So my current state is pretty pretty horrendous for moving tomorrow i literally don't want anyone on the team to see because i'm at my worst state and i feel like if i'm bleaching my skin i probably shouldn't put on tanner tonight but i do need to exfoliate all my current tanner because it looks oh my gosh so bad on my neck um, so i'm gonna be really pale have a massive pimple on my forehead and have weirdly bleached sideburns <laughs> At least I won't be getting any boys with this, Dennis. Thank God. <laughs> He's probably happy that I'm looking my ugliest as I'm about to leave. Update is I've bleached it twice, longer than the allotted amount, and it's still black. So now I'm forced. Here, let's can I, can I zoom in? Okay, yep. like even without this. It looks like you just bleached your skin. Yeah, and it's hurts, okay? And without um the tinted part underneath, like even if I put my nail under it, it's still black, so the hair's still black, so now I'm gonna use the facial razor because I don't want a hard edge on my <laughs> on my head. Man, your barber trimmed you up nice. Ow, it's oh sorry. Of the bleach. sorry. I bet you from the bleach and me shaving it, I'm gonna get an so many pimples right here. So I just shaved it so it's not a right angle and now it looks normal. No, show them the irritation. Look at me. No, like lift your head. Yeah. Nice. This is the worst thing ever and it's really hurting. Shaving <laughs> stash, applying facial oil first. I have to get down here because the hairs get long in there. Pretty good. This pimple's so gross. <laughs> it's so ugly. No. Hey guys, it's Friday. It's 7 a.m. We're on our way to the airport. If RD had a little breakdown. I'm sad to leave Dennis. Dennis is driving me. Uh oh. What? I'm gonna start crying again. It's. It's okay. No. K 
cannot show weakness on vlog. Show it. <laughs> show that you're human. Yeah, I'm pretty sad to leave him. Basically, I had three suitcases, two were massive and one was like decently sized, but I thought I could bring that as a carry-on. I ended up not being able to bring that as a carry-on and then the two others were very overweight and I was like, I'll just pay. And she was like, it's $100 for a bag. You should try to just make one heavy instead of both. So then I had to like unpack all three bags. Like I had them sprawled out. I'm by myself, by the way. They're all sprawled out and I'm like sorting through the clothes, trying to like divvy things up unable to zip one of the bags up again and i'm just straight struggling also not to mention the line to do all this was like 25 minutes long i was staying there for so long and then i went up again and she was like oh like we can't print the third bag tag here you're gonna have to go back in that line i was like in the one i was just in she was like yes and i was like it's so long so then i had to get back in that line go through the whole process again get another bag tag and then pay extra money to check a third bag and extra money for the overweight bag and then i finally shipped it and i this whole time i had to pee it so bad i was in excruciating pain and then i made it to my game and now i'm in a horrible mood because i was super unpleasant i was all by myself i barely got to say bye to denny also like he we were saying bye and this guy came to like help me get my bags and He's like, let's go, let's go. And so like, I literally barely got to say hi to Denny and I almost had a tantrum about that. <sighs> but now I'm at my gate. My nails look cute at least. I'm in the corner right now. In my new apartment, condo thing, whatever you consider it, I'll do a tour, but here's a little sneak peek um later once i'm more comfortable with my roommates but i don't want to be all up in their business and nothing's like set up so goodbye please like and subscribe i'm now in san diego so the content's gonna be banging